basic vehicle Hinayana, literally the lesser vehicle, but perhaps more accurately understood as vehicle of lesser result, what principally distinguishes followers of the basic vehicle from those of the great vehicle Mahayana is their motivation. They aspire for the personal liberation of Nirvana and lack the courage to pursue the greater fruition of the Mahayana. This being the enlightenment of all sentient beings, it comprises both the Shravakayana or vehicle of Shravakas and the Pratyekabhadayana or vehicle of Pratyekabhadas. Even though the Theravada school is the only basic vehicle school extant today. By the time the Buddha's discourses were written down in Pali and Sri Lanka, there were a total of 18 or 20 different ancient Buddhist schools. Mahayana, the great or universal vehicle. The essence of the Mahayana is the aspiration to attain Buddhahood as the only means to help all beings find liberation from suffering. This aspiration is called bodhicitta, the heart of enlightened mind, and is realized on both an absolute and relative level. Central to the Mahayana is the teaching on emptiness, or shunyata, as set forth in the Prayanapramita Sutras, and to elaborate it upon in the writings of Nagarjuna and his followers. Vajrayana, or Vajra vehicle, the teaching and practice of the Vajrayana or secret mantra vehicle lies at the heart of the Mahayana Buddhist tradition of Tibet. Based on the motivation of bodhicitta the wish to attain for the sake of others, the state of complete enlightenment the Vajrayana is a path centered on cultivating pure perception. It contains many powerful methods for accumulating merit and wisdom in order to arrive swiftly a direct realization of Buddha nature and the nature of reality itself. Through the practices of visualization, mantra recitation, and meditation, ordinary perception is transformed into a sacred outlook where everything is seen and experienced purely in its true nature. It is important to remember that all these methods are merely skillful means, not the goal itself. As His Holiness the Dalai Lama says, Buddhism is not about rituals, mantras, visualizations, or ceremonies. They may be part of it, but the fundamental point of Buddhism is to transform the mind. He also explains that the word mantra in secret mantrayana means that which protects the mind. Here, mantra protects the mind against ordinary perception. This is also the real meaning of Vajra and the word Vajrayana. The Vajrayana is not a separate vehicle from Mahayana, but actually belongs within Mahayana as a distinctive vehicle of skillful means. Although the Sutrayana and Mantrayana both have as their ultimate goal the attainment of perfect Buddhahood, the Mantrayana differs from the Sutrayana in the way that goal is attained. There are four distinguishing features that make it superior. The unobscured view, the many methods of meditation. The action that is without difficulty and the extremely sharp faculties of the individual, as it says in the torch of the three methods. It has the same goal, but is free from all confusion. It is rich in methods and without difficulties. It is for those with sharp faculties. The mantra vehicle is especially sublime. Tantrayana, otherwise known as Matrayana or the Vajrayana, it is the fruitional or resultant vehicle because the path is no longer based on establishing the cause but identifying directly with the fruition. Tantra begins with the view that the final attainment or result has been within the mind from the very beginning, but has been obscured by ignorance and adventitious defilements. Both Sutra and Tantra share the same ultimate goal of enlightenment. The greatest difference between them lies in the methods employed. 